Hey everybody, this is Try Dying to Live here playing Kerbal Space Program. Today is a tutorial on staging. Now, what I mean by staging is, instead of burning all of your rockets at the exact same time, uh, at the exact same fuel rate, uh, you burn some rockets and not burn others, and then you detach rockets and continue to fire the others, or you use fuel lines to modify the uh, fuel consumption of your rocket engines and drop off uh, spent tanks as you go. Now, there are three major versions of uh, staging. One is a serial staging, which is think uh, Apollo moon mission, where you have uh, you know rockets stacked on top of each other, you burn uh, some rockets, you detach them, and then you burn other rockets. The second is parallel, um, which is very similar to what the space shuttle does or did I should say and the third is a modified version of it which some people have dubbed uh, the asparagus staging method so I've got some pictures that I'm going to show you um, that are kind of explain how um, these uh, different staging systems work as well as we're going to look at some uh, some actual gameplay to uh, see how how various uh, different staging styles benefit in different ways. Um, so the first here we're looking at is a normal staging uh, setup. And uh, if you look here, you can see um, these little silly icons, the little flames basically represent uh, that these outside uh, engines are going to ignite and burn. Um, but the inside one is not going to. And this is basically, um, this is what's called a serial type um, staging system. This is like what happened to Apollo. Uh, and it's kind of confusing here because a lot of times when we think of serial type things, we think of like rockets stacked on top of each other. Um, but this is working the exact same way. The only difference is it just, it's just uh, laid out differently. Uh, but the staging configuration is the exact same. So the outer ones will burn, the inner one will not. When they burn out, they will drop off. And the, I know there's X's. Okay, I didn't go through all the trouble of making, you know, fancy 3D cool graphics. I just took some screen caps and put some X's over it. All right. So uh, these outer ones will then burn up and drop off. And so they'll fall off, leaving only the center, the, the center stack with a fuel t full tank uh, to begin to burn um, and, and continue the journey. So this is a serial staging. All right. So we'll look at a parallel staging. You can see this one looks pretty much the same. The only difference is that the uh, there are fuel lines. So what's going to actually happen is you see these fuel lines here. Uh, the center tank is going to pull from the outer t uh, the outer six tanks. Um, so this means that all of the engines are going to burn at the exact same time. However, the center tank is not going to use any of its fuel until the outer tanks are done. All right. So basically, what this means is it works the exact same way as a regular stage. Uh, the one previous that we, I should say, the previous one we looked at, the only difference is you have one extra engine burning and it's going to burn through its fuel a little faster because you got that one extra engine burning while the others are. Um, and so of course um, when, you, when you switch your staging the outer tanks will fall off and the center one will continue to burn. So it's a little bit shorter of a, of a burn time um, but if your rocket's a little heavier um, where you need all five engines to be burning, or excuse me, not six, five, all seven engines to be burning at the same time. Um, this can help you kind of get off the ground a little bit more. All right, this last one is called um, a, a modified parallel staging, or what a lot of people call the asparagus. And you can see here, it's kind of confusing with the, well, the way the uh, fuel lines are going. So I actually went ahead and labeled it. Um, so basically what happens is, the uh, the tank A receives fuel from tanks B, tanks C receive or put or uh, run fuel into B, and tank D runs into C. So D's run into C's, C's run into B's, and then the B's run into the single A. Um, so what this is basically going to do is the D's are going to run out of fuel first, uh, and so on and so forth. So when you go ahead and and do the burn, you um, you'll burn all the tanks just like the other parallel one. The only difference is D is going to run out first and so you'll drop that off and then C will run out of fuel and you'll drop that off and B will run out of fuel and you'll drop that off and then you'll be left with A. And each time you go through this, each uh, time you drop off a tank, each time a tank runs out of fuel, all the other tanks are full. Okay, um, So it's very similar to the parallel, the only difference 
is that uh, you have a very uh, a significantly more complicated setup, all right? Because you have to set up all these in parallel, um, and you can't use like a like a six form. You have to use like a you know like a two form anyway, for the symmetry. But anyways, um, we'll go ahead and look at these, and we'll look at some video, um, and kind of show you how to make some of this stuff. Um, and we'll do that right now. All right, we're starting off with our design. This is our basic design that we're going to use, very similar to. Um, what you saw here, this is our control. This is using no staging whatsoever. Um, we'll speed up to 4x here because it's going to take a little while. But this is going to give us a benchmark to test our other uh, stages again, see what works best, what gives us the most uh, uh, meters per second increase in speed, how high it gets, and things like that. Um, but this one is straightforward, it doesn't really do anything. It just burns up all the fuel at the exact same time, and then it's done. Um, so there we go. It's uh, burnt up, and uh, our highest altitude achieved is 1800 or 18 kilometers. Highest speed achieved is 572 meters per second. Now, this next one here, this is a serial stage. This means the uh, outermost uh, engines, the six engines around the outside, are going to burn. The center one is not burning. Um, this is your Apollo style here, and so it's going to continue on until it runs out of fuel, um, and then we're going to drop those off, and there we go, they drop off, and now the center one burns, and of course the center tank is going to have a full tank because we didn't use it, uh, we didn't use its rocket at all, and so um, this is what you call a serial style, and it got up to 51 kilometers, which is very good, uh, much higher, and 695 meters per second, so it's quite a bit of improvement right there. Now this is our uh, parallel, what I like to call the onion, you peel out the layers. Um, as you can see there, all the outer tanks fill into the inner tank, and when we launch we are burning from not only the six outer tanks, but also the center tank too. So when we run out of fuel in the outer tanks, we'll again drop those off, and uh, the center tank, even though it's been the, that it's, its rocket engines was used the whole time, it's full when we begin. 45 kilometers, 653 meters per second on this one. Still better than the control. Um, now this next one here, I'm actually showing you how to build it. This is our um, modified parallel. It's the same as the other one, except we're gonna drop off our rockets a little differently. So first off, we're putting everything in, in pairs. So every we're just using the, the number two symmetry tool here. We're putting our rockets on two at a time. So two decouplers, two tanks, two decouplers, two tanks. You can see here I'm kind of readjusting. You want to kind of keep these as, as um, similar as possible. It helps out quite a bit. Um, and so now we are on our third pair and we're just kind of lining that up, trying to get a, trying to get that set up pretty good. Eh, hard to say, it looks like I got it pretty uneven, but that's okay. You can see um, down at the bottom right hand, there's uh, three sets of um, these these uh, decouplers, and now there's uh, gonna be three sets of tanks, or three sets of engines as we put the engines on there. So we have three pairs. Now I'm kinda looking at this, um, and we need to change the staging. So we move down that center stack so that all the engines burn at the exact same time, um, because it's a parallel uh, type staging, and now we're going to break up um, each of the, the three pairs of decouplers. So they're gonna break off um, one at a time. So you're gonna have uh, D break off and then C break off and then B break off. Um, and so now what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm hooking up D to C, C or C flows into B and B flows in is going to flow into A. And this is going to be kind of tricky. It's hard to see in the video, um, but that's use that's why I gave you the picture so you can kind of figure out how do you want to design it. Um, basically, the first one in the chain, the one that's feeding all of them needs to be the first one jettisoned because it's to be the first one. Um, that uses up all its fuel. So there, there's the asparagus, the uh, the modified parallel. We take off, all the rockets are firing at the exact same time. However, if you look down at the bottom left, you can see that two of the tanks are being used very quickly. Um, and as they're done, we jettison them off. And now, um, next two tanks, and you're looking at a bit of an optical illusion here. It looks like one engine, but it's actually three engines. And now, um, they're all burning and uh, they're done and the jettison and, and uh, each time we jettison uh, a tank, all the tanks that return remain are full and you can see our highest speed achieved is a thousand meters per second and our highest altitude came out to 101,405 meters. 
All right, let's recap and crunch the numbers. Our constant, which is our benchmark to show uh, which style improves more, uh, it achieved a high speed of 572 meters per second and made it all the way up to 18,035 meters. Now our serial, where the outermost burned, dropped off and the innermost uh, ignited and started to burn, it achieved an improvement of 21.5 uh, percent in the speed category and 185.5 percent improvement in altitude which shows that a little bit more speed can actually cause a, a great deal more altitude and so the serial design uh, improved greatly however the parallel design did not do as well. It, it did better than the constant but it didn't uh, achieve uh, the same as the serial which is quite unfortunate seeing how it's the design that I usually use. Oh well. Um, it does have one, one benefit over the serial in that it's able to lift a heavier load because it's burning all the rockets at the exact same time. So I do believe there is a place for the parallel um, because one you can lift more and it's still simpler than the modified parallel uh, but it only achieves a, a modest gain. Now the uh, the uh, the modified parallel, the asparagus style, it did amazing. 74.8% improvement over speed, 462.3% uh, improvement in altitude it is unreal. And you might be thinking to yourself, how does it, how does it, how does it work so well? Well, the reason for its amazing efficiency is that it throws off fuel tanks and engines very quickly and every fuel tank and engine you throw off is less drag and less weight to push which the asparagus exploits to its benefit hey thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys learned a lot learned uh, new techniques for your rockets um, thank you guys again for watching don't forget to go outside and play sometime uh, see you next time